What's up everyone? So today I'm just going to show you how to bring your Leroy model into Clip Studio the quick way. So first of all, make sure that all your skin texture wasn't changed uh, with the base color and that this is actually white because if you try to make it a different color like yellow, yellow ain't going to show up. It's going to show up whatever your layer of your texture is. And the same thing will go for the hair editor. So if you change the color on this, the base color, it's not going to show up that color. It's going to show up a different color. So first, we're going to go and export her. OK, so one of the things you got to keep in mind of for uh, Clip Studio is uh, pretty simple program for a modeler uh, so make sure you're not having a super high polygon count um, the lower the materials the faster it will load in along with bones um, one thing that does help is delete transparent meshes and yeah uh, this is what mine is this should be a good uh, one to export with so just fill in all your information. I already have her exported. So one of the things you're going to need next is uh, the CATS plugin. And you're going to need the VRM add-on. So you can download right here for VRM add-on and download right here for CATS plugin. So the next thing we're going to do is go to Blender. And I'll have my version of Blender. It's 2.93.2. I'll blenders um, download in the description below. So just delete fault, the default cube. First thing you're gonna do once you're in Blender and you deleted the default cube, you're gonna go to Edit Preferences. Install and you're gonna install your Cats plugin. Don't unzip it. Um, just install the add-on. And then just search for the cats plugin and make sure it has this little check mark. And you're gonna do the exact same thing for the VRM importer. And then just type in VRM in the search button and make sure it's checked. And you can find all this under the add-ons. Alright, so so once you're done with that, you're gonna go and import your model into Blender. switch it to textures being shown all right so she's all good looks great now just hit fix model okay now export your model all right so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go on modeler click on the 3d character create 3d character click body click add from file Add your model that you just created using the cats plugin. All right, now she's in uh, here. Next, first thing you're gonna do is just click use this complete character, and we're just gonna do a quick zoom in of her, just so we can get a screenshot. And then we're gonna map the bones. Click OK. All right, so. Some people like to have this a little bit lower, and we'll have it a little bit lower for her. You don't need to have it a little bit lower. Um, I usually don't have any issues with my model. Also, when you're actually mapping the bones, make sure it actually matches when you actually click on it, the exact way this one does. And you can click on any part of that body, that, like lower arm, upper arm, for that arm. All right, click next, and just see if she matches these poses pretty good, and she does. Complete. All right, so she looks good so far. Recommend saving your model real quick.
So we're going to register as a new material. Mm -hmm. Same character. Add a tag. It's not necessary to add tags. I like to add it, though. All right, so we're just going to go and bring in our model real quick. And there she is. If you want to go and change the thumbnail. Just hit that little folder and there you go. And you can go and uh, get some default poses. And just drag it onto her. And make sure you're clicked on the layer that the model is on to have them go into that pose. And I have uh, how to actually download more poses in my other video, which is a longer tutorial on how to do all this in a lot more detail on how to add accessories like a sword that you created like in Vroid. Alright, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you have an awesome week. Later.